Alrighty, so today's video is about uh, atheism, and uh, I'm going to discuss how to speak to a coworker who is an atheist. And um, let's begin with the first point here. I, I got a lot of my information from karm.org. Wait a second. What? Let me get this straight. You want to teach us how to talk to atheists, and your primary source is from a Christian apologist site? I'm, uh, not so sure that's the best choice. On top of that, preaching to co-workers is generally not a good idea. And depending on your position, it could be against company policy. For example, if you're in a managerial role or a position of power over another worker, you could be putting your job in serious jeopardy, while making your co-worker feel as if you're coercing them or exerting your power as a manager to shove your religion onto them. Here are the Department of Labor's policies. Employees can engage in discussion about religion, but if one person says stop or otherwise demonstrates that it is unwelcome, they must do so. If you're a supervisor, you can see here that it gets pretty dicey. Personally, I wouldn't discuss religion in the workplace. I think there are better venues for such discussions, but I'd certainly refrain if I was in a supervisory role. But really, I think the takeaway should be that your first consideration should be to stop immediately if the other party isn't interested. Something you neglect to say throughout your video. Um, so the first question you want to ask is when you're speaking to a, a coworker that's an atheist, you say, you know, what type of atheist are you? And some of them may not understand that question, but you can just clarify for them. So, you know, are you someone who feels like I really know there is no God or are you someone that you're not sure there's not enough evidence? You're kind of just, you know, in between here about the subject. Um, they would be more of a weak atheist. Uh, so ask them what type of atheist they are. And secondly, um, you want to ask them questions. You know, why do you believe that? Why do you think there is no God? Um, and then obviously you want to listen to them. You want to be humble and uh, hopefully have a great conversation. I'd seriously consider canning the whole what kind of atheist are you question. You're just setting yourself up for a semantics game that will likely lead to everyone involved to being frustrated. I asked atheists on Twitter what they would consider the best way for a theist to approach them if they wanted to engage them about their non-belief in a deity. See what I did there? I asked atheists instead of relying on Christian apologists. Anyway, overwhelmingly they said that asking them questions was a good opening move. However, something else they said, and I'll leave the link to the tweet in the description box if you want to give the responses a read was that the motives for the question were important. Was the theist just trying to convert them, or were they genuinely interested in listening to the atheist's reasoning? Were they like Dacuz here, the all-powerful atheist whisperer, who just assumes the atheist is making up excuses, or are they curious and willing to consider what the atheist is saying? All too often, atheists are met with hostility, disdain, and anger. You just want to sin so you make up excuses not to believe in God, don't you? How can you not believe in God? He's all around you. I'll pray for you. Without objective morality, how can you say murder is bad? These are the sorts of questions many atheists get asked on a regular basis. And a lot of times, the person asking them isn't interested in the answer. They're interested in either trying to shame the atheist or they're looking for an opening to preach. Now. I don't think you're a bad person, and I get the feeling you have good intentions. But even though you stress listening, being humble, and wanting a great conversation in the video, I do find myself questioning your motives once again when you say this. Uh, but I think it's important just to remember, talk to your coworkers about God. Bring it up. Um, it's a good thing to do. Um, because, you know, they're in need of a savior. They're in need of Jesus. Honestly, this doesn't sound like you're curious. It sounds like you have a goal and you think you know what we need. How about you let us worry about what we need? There are lots of us who don't mind engaging with theists. Hell, some of us enjoy it, like myself. But how you approach that conversation is important. So, here's a few tips from me to you. And just to make it clear, this is just from my own perspective. But if you're an atheist, feel free to respectfully leave your advice in the comment section below. Hopefully, we can get a nice list of things that will help stimulate dialogue between atheists and theists. Number one, 
Ask questions with genuine curiosity and really take the time to listen. Treat the atheist with respect and human dignity. Number two, if they tell you they're not interested or look uncomfortable, stop the conversation. Number three, if you're looking for a discussion, there doesn't have to be a winner and a loser. You're there to learn from each other. Number four, don't assume you know what the atheist thinks or feels. Don't pretend that you're a mind reader. Number five, don't use scripture to make your points. If you must, use them sparingly. I know that I don't find the Bible very compelling, and when someone starts quoting scripture, I get bored quickly, and because I don't believe in the God that supposedly inspired it, I don't find it particularly convincing either. Number six, try to find common ground. Number seven, don't threaten the atheist with hell, and that means don't passively, aggressively do it either. Here's my short list, and that does it for this video. I thought I'd get it out there into the world while I continue working on another video. I hope you enjoyed it, and thanks for watching. Take care and cheers. You take me home, invite me in. The lights go down and we begin.